I have fun learning. I want to learn something new every day of my life. There's so much out there and you can either be happy and excited about life or you can just be okay with it. Do you want to enjoy your job here? Do you want to look forward to coming to work every day? You know, yes, you can have a job. That's true. You can come to work every day. You can go home every day at 4.30. But would you like to come to work and really enjoy what you're doing? And if that's the case, then you need to be part of a learning organization. Captain's learning log. I've beamed down to the Lincoln, Nebraska VA Medical Center in an effort to help the crew adapt to the ever-changing demands in space. I've asked everyone to write down any ideas they have to improve starship efficiency. I can't wait to see what they've come up with. Kirk here. Captain, it's Mr. Scott. What is it, Scotty? I got the wee problem with your assignment. What kind of a problem, Mr. Scott? We just don't have time to write down a bunch of ideas, Captain. The hyperdrive is in pieces and I cannot spare a single man. I realize you're busy, Scotty. We all are. But it's important that we continue learning. It's vital. I'm telling you, Captain. We've given it all we got. We cannot do any more. Very well. Kirk out. Does this sound familiar? Hello, I'm Walter Cronkite. How many of us have made excuses to stop learning once we've found a job? The list is almost endless. I don't need to learn new things. My job won't change. My manager won't give me time off to attend classes. I already have a job. Why should I keep learning? I'm too old to learn anything. Managers at the VA, like Howard Thompson, know that there's no good excuse not to learn on the job every day. Most of the education that we have is uh, on a daily basis. I, anytime I'm out on the floor, I'm teaching. I'm asking questions. I believe the most important thing I can do as laundry manager is empower my employees to do their jobs. And to get to that point, we need to teach them every day so they can learn and run with it. When I first came here, most of the employees didn't have in the past the opportunity to improve themselves and understand why they do their jobs. So I've taken it upon myself and the VA here to give them the information they can do to empower themselves to do their jobs much better. What we've done is we've gotten courses from industrial magazines and things to improve their jobs and now the the morale has improved immensely because they now know why they do it they're just not pushing buttons they don't work for me I work for them and I keep expressing that to them they're a fabulous workforce they're willing to learn they're they're willing to do anything to service a veteran and that's the most enjoyable thing I've ever worked with in my life but believe me that is it is the best scenario I've ever been in. You've reached the office of Agent 86. I can't take your call right now because Knock I... Knock it off, Max. Oh, hi, Chief. What's up? Max, I want you to drop the case you're working on to attend a learning seminar. A learning seminar? Chief, you know I don't do well in the classroom. And besides, I've already got my mandatory 40 hours of training for this year. I know, but the secret agent business is constantly changing, and we all need to keep up. Every day we're using new technology, accepting new challenges. 
facing tougher competition. And loving it. Yes, well, I want you to start your new training right away. Let me tell you about it. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Chief. If it's all that important, perhaps we ought to use the cone of silence. The cone of silence, Max? You know all of our phones are digitally encrypted. Not my stew phone, Chief. I never could get the software installed for that. I tried three times and missed it by that much. No, I insist we use the cone of silence. And in fact, I've got a portable unit right here. Very well, Max. The cone of silence. Okay, Chief. Go ahead. Chief? Hello, Chief? I can't hear you. Hello? Learning today has changed greatly from the classrooms that most of us grew up with. In fact, today, it's easier to get smart than ever before. New learning avenues, technologies, and methods are available to suit the learning styles of individual employees. These days, the workplace and the internet can substitute for the classroom and the library. Coworkers, supervisors, and you are the professors, mentors, and counselors of today. Education coordinators like Nancy Brock help bridge the gap between learning needs and new learning opportunities. My job as an employee education coordinator is to assist employees in identifying their learning needs and then to facilitate learning opportunities for the employee. When we think about learning, we many times think of the traditional classroom. However, in this day and age, we have so many other modalities. We have satellites, we have video presentations, we have self-learning modules, or maybe it's something that need, needs to be created. Uh, we certainly have the opportunities to tap into some content experts that we certainly could have do a presentation. Again, we try to be at as uh, flexible as we can. We want it to be meaningful. We want it to improve their job. Associate Director's Office, this is Billy Wagoner. I think the VA really does promote learning and um, we have requirements at headquarters level that says that employees will have 40 hours of education a year. That's the minimum. We have lots and lots of employees who far exceed that 40. That's the baseline, that's where we start, and that's where we encourage the employees and provide them opportunities so that they can get that 40 hours. I believe that our management staff, this is part of the culture. So I can't even think of supervisors or service chiefs or service line directors that do not promote this. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Hi, y'all. Shazam! Why haven't you finished peeling those potatoes? The general specifically asked for mashed potatoes at dinner tonight, and he'll have my stripes if they aren't ready. I'm trying to get them done, Sergeant. Honest, I am. But I guess I just need a little motivation or something. Motivation? I'll give you motivation. How does a month of latrine duty sound? Golly, that's not what I meant, Sergeant. What I meant was, well, I was just kind of wondering if maybe you could mentor me or something. Mentor? What are you talking about? Well, it's like one time my cousin Goober was watching his sister's little baby while she went out to have her feet done. Getting her feet done? Well, see, she had an extra toe on each foot, and she had to have all her shoes sent out to be let out and everything. And then when she got back, well, she picked that baby up, and surprise, 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 that baby's old diaper was just a bulging like there was a brick in it or something. And she said to Goober, how come you didn't change this baby's diaper? It's full. And he said back to her, he said, no, it ain't. Look here on the box. It says up to 14 pounds. See what I mean? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, look, Sergeant, if Goober hadn't pointed out to her the directions on that box of diapers about how much they would hold, she never would have known. That's called mentoring. What I do in my job is review medical records and abstract information uh, for correct coding and basically transpose it into numbers for medical billing. When I came to the VA, I was not a certified coder. And so the VA has helped all of my fellow coders in Omaha, Lincoln, and Grand Island to obtain our certifications by sending us to classes. I would not have been able to afford it, like a lot of my coworkers. And then finding the time, because it was pretty expensive, but when we were when we asked 
we received. So it has definitely been a blessing. I've been lucky to have a great supervisor that will let me do many things outside of the radiology department. So I've been um, able to help teach CPR, also been on several committees. I've been on the morale committee and came up with different ideas that would help enhance the image of the VA hospital and the employees' morale. This is part of the morale that we're doing in our department and one of the things that we like to do best is eat. Now that we've got the themes going and people knowing about our potlucks in the hospitals, we're asking different units of the hospital to come and join us so we get to know them a little bit better, interact with the other employees. I don't uh, get to see a lot of people unless I go out to the floors. Um, and this way with people coming in now, I get to meet a lot more people. So. Good. You know, it's necessary for us once in a while to take a break and enjoy Thanksgiving in a fashion which is where everyone comes down. And I'm proud of uh, the fact that everyone is pulled in to get things done. So I think our department, I should say our department is the best, right? Right. <laughs> the VA hospitals in all the towns in all the world, they had to walk into mine. And I'm glad. Caring for vets is good work. Oh sure, we ain't all doctors or nurses. Some of us answer a phone. Some push a broom. Others fix busted up stuff. We're just a bunch of regular Joes. But the vets, now they're something special. And if we ain't trying to do better by them, we're gonna regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon for the rest of our lives. Play it again, Sam. On second thought, maybe not. Remind me to sign you up for music lessons at the VA Continuing Education. Speaking of the VA, maybe we'll get them to get you a new suit, too. As for you, the most important thing to remember is that everything we do is all about the vets. They're looking to you, kid. Serving veterans is important to me also because I am a veteran. I believe veterans have given a lot for their country and this is one way that we can give it back to them. Our veterans deserve the quality care and for the, what they did and what they gave for this country. We have a moral obligation to take care of them and, and take care of them in their health care, uh, in their benefits. Um, and, and I believe that's the greatest thing that we can give back to them. I take great pride in just being with the, the veterans and knowing that I'm helping them. And when I see a smile on their face, it really makes me feel good that I'm doing something good for them. My name's Glenn Bailey and I was in the military for a total of 26 years of active duty and active reserve status. I can't say enough good about the VA. Honest to God can't. I, they've taken good care of my dad. They've taken excellent, excellent care of myself. You know, I think what the VA does is uh, they make better people out of their people uh, simply by all the educational things that they have for them. And education is so important because without it, you know, you can't be everything that you can be. You know, we veterans derive a lot of good care, a lot of uh, good things from your education. But the thing is, the most important thing is, you know, it makes you feel better. You know, it makes you feel better. And when you feel better, you know, and you know these things, then you're going to give me better care. You know, you're going to give me better care. And that's what I want from you. You know, I want the best possible care you can give me. All right, partners, time to wrap this story up and head her home. Now, even an old cowpoke like me knows that the last wrangler out of bed in the morning don't get no beans for breakfast, so you listen up. I ain't gonna say this but once, Pilgrim. First, learning's your buddy. It's your ticket to moving up, getting paid more, and feeling better about yourself. Second, 40 hours of training a year is just a starting point. You gotta go above and beyond. 
Take advantage of every opportunity to shake up that gray matter. Believe you me, if you ain't moving ahead, you're falling behind. I can't tell you how many different ways learning's changed since I was a pup. What with mentoring and the internet and video training, there's something for everybody. Fourth, no excuses. If I hear one more baby whining about being too busy or too old or too whatever to learn something new, well, it ain't gonna be pretty. Finally, the vets. Don't you ever forget, boys and girls, that the vets are the whole reason we're here. Now, they've already done more for us than a body could ask, and it's up to us to treat them with the respect and our jobs. Well, that's the least we can do. So, that's the change in face of continuous learning. Should be no problem for a bunch of sharpshooters like you. Now me, I gotta saddle up and ride into the sunset. But remember this, you can lead a horse to water, but it's up to each of you to take a drink from the water and hole of knowledge. So saddle up and get going. Adios, partner. I think it's important to continue to learn um, because it keeps us fresh. We have good ideas. We have better ways of doing things. Uh, it keeps us motivated on the job. Uh, we are, if we're around individuals who are in a learning mode as well, they're exciting, they're enthused about what they do, and so it's, um, it's motivating to be around people that are in a learning organization. It's like having education handed to you on a silver platter. Now if you want to take it from the silver pla platter and feed the brain to keep your job or obtain other jobs to heighten your career period, you can do that here at the VA. If you don't, I mean, you're going to be dead weight to somebody. Uh, and worst of all, you're going to be dead weight to yourself. Don't hold back. Don't be afraid to try. Always ask. Always do the best that you can be and don't limit yourself. We are an organization that embraces continuous learners. We know that continuous learners help to create a, a high performing organization and that in the end is what we need to be. The opportunities are here. All you have to do is take them. Finding opportunities to learn and to grow is everyone's responsibility. Here at the VA, employees are encouraged to take the lead when it comes to improving themselves and their work environment. The future is here. It's in your hands now. Seek out new opportunities. Opportunities to partner. Opportunities to mentor. Opportunities to learn. 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 What are you waiting for? I'm Walter Cronkite, and that's the way it is. Thank you.